He's got a license to kill. Product placement deal. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Rap Trends. I'm 00 Jordan Burchette. James Bond is too good for Sony phones. This according to leaked Sony emails which revealed that Daniel Craig thinks the company's phones are as shitty as its cybersecurity. In the not so secret agent email, a Columbia Pictures exec said that Craig shot down use of Sony phones in the upcoming Spectre because they're not the best. And if there's one person who's good at choosing his words wisely, it's the guy who said he'd rather kill himself than reprise a role weeks before his film comes out. Bond assassinating Sony phones might just mark the end of 007 and Sony's love affair with the studio's rights to the series ending at Spectre, which opens the gates for other studios to force their corporate crap into the spy franchise. Who's ready for Furious 007? If Sony phones aren't good enough for the provocateur, what was he doing using them here? And here? And here? And here? And? Or why was he using that entry-level Sony laptop to conduct official secret agency business? And what the hell is this Ford commercial doing in the middle of Casino Royale? James Bond isn't the world's most dangerous secret agent. He's Hollywood's answer to the sham wow guy. Who orders a drink like this? Two measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Keenan Lily, shake it over rice, and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. But scrubbing Sony phones from specters an attempt to get away from the gimmicks that have defined the series over the years. To help Bond become the higher-minded franchise it so desperately wants to be, we've come up with some other lazy tropes that they could do away with. Like love interests that are gone sooner than a herpes sore. Or they could actually make Bond good at his job and let him kill the bad guy at first chance. Rather than an elaborate plot to cause global strife through nukes, space weapons, or natural disasters, villains can fat shame a celebrity. Or they could do Bond a favor and finally let him die in one of those giant explosions. So is James Bond dropping product placements a slap in the face to the series? Or should Bond go back to slapping women in the face? Leave your shaken, not stirred comments below. I'm Jordan Merchette. Thanks for watching Rap Trends. See you next time. Oh, okay. <laughs>